tonight we're hearing from a Newport News mother who says that she has had enough of her daughter getting bullied. She says it ranges from racial slurs to threats of gunfire. News 3's Kelsey Jones. Kelsey Jones joins us now here live in the studio. And tonight, Kelsey, this mom reached out to us for help. That's right, Kurt, and she is fed up. I actually sat down with Crystal Hall, whose daughter is in the seventh grade at Crediton Middle School. And Hall says the tipping point for her is when her daughter's classmate said, when I shoot the school up, you will be the first one. I'm angry. I'm nervous. I don't trust anybody in the school. Crystal Hall, a Newport News mother, is at her wit's end. She says a bully is terrorizing her daughter. As long as they're doing it like they're doing it now, it's going to keep on going and getting worse. Hall says her daughter, who attends Crediton Middle School, has been getting picked on since the start of the school year from her classmate. She says the bullying started off with racial slurs being used towards her daughter, including the N-word and much more. Coons, monkeys, go back to your own country, different things like that. Paul says then came threats, saying this is what he told her daughter. When I shoot the school up, you're going to be the first one. Who's to say that he's not going to do this again? Who's to say that he's not going to act it out? Paul says she's reported the bullying to the school and the threat to police, but she feels like school leaders are not acting on the issue. Something needs to be done about it. It's unacceptable. I reached out to Michelle Price, a spokesperson for Newport News Public Schools, and she sent me a statement saying, in part, the school division takes threats, bullying complaints, and concerns very seriously. The administrative team at Credit and Newport News police were notified of this incident and have been working with the parents and students involved. They need to protect our children while they are at the school. Work on the little pieces of yourself. Shantae Miller-White, who serves as an advocate for bullied children and the children's family, says parents should talk to their kids about bullying, especially if they see a change of behavior from them. You're talking to them every day. You're asking them how was their day and noticing also change in their, their movement, their activity. White created Parents Against Bullying after her daughter was assaulted on a school bus a decade ago. This particular person kicked my daughter in the head for a total of 17 minutes, and my daughter almost passed away in regards to this. What should parents do when they feel like the school is just not doing enough? My thing is you have to know your rights, know your handbook backwards and forwards, ask questions, meet with people, um, and go in with the open mind that you're a team. Leading Hall to take her concerns to the school board, but she says she's considering sending her daughter to another school. I'm thinking about putting her in a different magnet program because of this solely. There are still a lot of questions we had for the Newport News school system on this case and how they handle bullying in general. We'll continue to ask those questions and we'll report back to you when we get those answers. I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.